Hi there everybody, in today's video I have this BMW 320D 2011 and uh, I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter as well as the air filter and uh, I'm gonna top up some screen wash fluid and also check the coolant um, just for antifreeze percentage and level of course um, so I'm gonna start with the uh, coolant which is located on the right hand side in this tank here now if the engine has been running that uh, can be very hot the coolant will be very hot so be careful when opening this cap um, you can do it just uh, do it slowly and the gas should release the pressure should be released <clears throat> otherwise you can wait for it to to cool down and then open it. There's a little indicator here on the side of how to uh, read this. So basically, what it's saying is, if the if this little floater here is is down there, then uh, you're at the minimum. The coolant is at the minimum and if the floater is where it is at the moment so we have this second part here aligned with this then you're at the maximum um, in this case it's okay we don't need to top it up so I'm gonna check the antifreeze just the antifreeze percentage I'm using this uh, gadget here uh, there's many of these on the market, different types, probably more, more than once. So that's showing me the antifreeze is uh, approximately at minus 30. Minus 30 degrees centigrade, so that's good enough. Unless you're in uh, Siberia, but we are in the UK, so now um, when you close this, the two little arrows will line up once this is shut. Now I'm just going to top up some screen wash fluid, and that will be on that container you can get um, screen fluid from any um, garage already mixed or if you get the concentrated one you have to mix it okay so that's topped up now now we can do our air filter the air filter is located in that uh, box there. Yeah. So we just need to open these clips here. Just pop them open, and and there's a little plastic one here. So there's just a little clip, a plastic one, on the top cover that you can just uh, open with a screwdriver. That's where the filter is. And um, you can clean the inside of that box if it's really dirty.
I have the new filter here that make in this case and you can use the other one also which is LX1640 that would be for the other make there's the Malay one but for this one we have that number so just get your new filter and get it in there And that's it, now we can move on to the oil and the oil filter. So, to um, change the um, oil filter, I'm gonna get this cover up, out. That just pops out. I'm also gonna open the oil filler cap. And I'm just gonna let it sit there half open and our filter it's in that container there in that little um, housing there so I have a 27 mil socket let it sit there for a few minutes and then uh, the oil will drain if we take it out straight away some oil just uh, spills around okay so that's our filter there we just need to pull it out Sometimes it's a little bit hard to pull it, but just have to be persistent. <laughs> then uh, dispose of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the car up and we're gonna drain the oil. And if you're working outside, um, I would cover that um, filter housing there so nothing goes in it. Just put a bit of paper in there or uh, some rag. So nothing drops in there. I'm not particularly working outside, but just for covering it for dust or whatever. Okay, so get to drain the oil now. Okay, so get yourself an oil pan and um, we're gonna drain the oil. open that little cap and then we are going to undo this bolt here that's a 17 mil now again if the engine has been running the oil can be very hot so just be careful not to burn yourself So that sand black bolt comes out with the uh, with this washer, and uh, we're gonna replace that. So while that is draining, we can uh, change our new uh, oil filter. We can fit our new oil filter there, and. So this is the part I'm using the Bosch P7123 
need to get this old o-ring out you're gonna get a new one this little packet and you also get a new washer in it So we can get the o-ring back in there, just make sure you get it in the correct groove which is the bottom one sometimes it looks like it can go on this other one here but that shrinks down so that's part of the uh, screen bit here of the thread now the filter what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fit the filter into the ho um, housing first and then we'll put this cover back in there okay so all that is ready now we're just gonna wait for the oil to drain five to ten minutes then we can refit our sunplug bolt okay I'm gonna refit the sunplug bolt now And that's it, so we're gonna lower the car and uh, fit our oil and oil filter now. Okay, now we're ready to fit our filter. So this is our filter and, and if you can see there's this little plastic bit sticking out here. That has to go into a hole inside the housing. So. You will see the little hole on the side and then just fit this in. Fit that in and push it down a little bit. And then you can put your cover. I apply a little bit of multi-pepper grease to the O-ring. You need to push it in a little bit into the filter and then you'll be able to screw that on. So I always make sure I screw the in by hand a little bit first. Just make sure it's going in the correct way before I use the tool. Now that cover it says 25 Newton meters. If you got a torque wrench, you can set it to that and then just tighten that up. But uh, 25 Newton meters isn't a lot of force, so if you if you haven't got one, just close it and <clears throat> apply a little bit of extra force to it, and that's it. Now we're gonna put some oil in. The manual specifies uh, 5.2 liters for this particular um, year and uh, engine size 5.2 liters of um, recommended is 5W30 um, long life zero, um, zero 04 I think it is, or zero 03 I'm using Castro But uh, whatever you buy your oil from and your oil filter, they can recommend, they can give you the correct oil for your car. Okay, so I've got my 5.2 liters in there. Just gonna check the dipstick here. If you look at your uh, dipstick, you have a, a max mark 
here and a minimum mark there so we, we are aiming for the max if, if we are servicing the car if you're checking your oil um, you're allowed to be somewhere in between between the min and the max okay so that's pretty much at the max maybe just a little bit extra but that is because some of that oil will go into the oil field housing and will stay there so which means if you check that again it will show the correct level okay so just refit our oil filler cap and get your cover back on And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching.